Hi there, Jamie Keat here today at Teachers Tech. Hope you're having a great day today. Today I'm going to be showing you pivot tables in Microsoft Excel. So I want to show you how powerful these pivot tables are and how much time they can save you. Even if you're a beginner in Microsoft Excel, these will save you a lot of time because you don't have to go through and create these individual formulas that can take a lot of time to do. When you use pivot tables, they're going to be able to quickly allow you to analyze your data uh, and get the answers that you want. So let's get started with pivot tables with Microsoft Excel today. So just before we get started, just so you know, I'll put the link to the file that I'm using here so you can open it up and follow along. You'll just have to download it, then it will open up in Microsoft Excel. Then you can play with the same data that I'm doing uh, with this tutorial. And also, if you're new to Microsoft Excel, I'll put a couple links down to some of my beginner tutorials, uh, level one and level two, to get you started more familiar with Microsoft Excel. But let's get started with these powerful pivot tables today uh, and really just showing you how easy anyone at any level can be manipulating them to get great information. So I'm going to go over two parts with pivot tables. I'm going to show you how to quickly analyze using pivot tables and I'm also going to show you how to chart or graph the pivot tables too. So first of all, we have our data. You can see, kind of get in a general idea of what it is. It's pretty general, pretty simple data, but for the purposes of today, it will work well just to show you how a pivot table works. Uh, you can see from date, we have regions and we have rep names and items and different things that uh, pivot table is gonna allow us to analyze. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm actually gonna click in the table because I'm gonna show you why I'm gonna do this. So I'm just gonna click anywhere. I'm gonna click in this cell over here. Uh, then I'm going to go to insert and this is where you're going to find your pivot tables. So if I go over to insert here, you can see uh, I have pivot tables right here. We also have recommended pivot tables. So if I go, I'm going to click on uh, recommended first just to show you what that is, but I kind of want to focus on just the pivot table over here. If I click on recommend it, you can see it starts to give you um, different items that they might that they think that uh, you might want to pull the information. So you can kind of go by some of cost uh, cost of region, and you can kind of click on these, and it's going to give you though that information in a hurry based on what they think you might want to see. But I'm just going to cancel this for uh, now, and I'm going to go into pivot tables over here. So the one thing why I wanted to click in it first, so if I go and click on it, uh, you can see the range is already there. So I could have selected my range, but if I go um, out of it, if I'm not clicked in it, uh, if I go back to it, uh, you can see there's no range in here. So it's just kind of like a little tip. Uh, you can I can go and select my range now. And by range, I mean the area where all the information is in. So you can see it would start uh, up at A1 and it would go all the way down to my last rows and columns. But if I click in this right here, and then I go up to pivot table, you can see the range is there. So just a little tip that uh, could save you, you know, not a lot of time, but just it's, I just find it easier to do it that way. So then you get a few different options and you can go new worksheet or existing worksheet. I want it to go to a new worksheet. So it's gonna open up a new tab on the bottom and I'm just gonna hit okay. And you're gonna see it go to a new worksheet and we're ready to go to our next step. So you can see what opened up over here. When I created my new sheet, I have pivot table of fields. Now, what I can do uh, is I'm gonna be selecting different items from here and they're gonna show up in my cells and I get to choose kind of how I want them to show up and what things I'm comparing them to. So uh, for an example, I can just click on these and you can see when I click the checkbox, well, it went down into rows and now I have my row labels. You can see these are set up in rows, but I don't have to have them in rows. I could drag them and drop them into columns and now they're going across this way. So I've selected the first one I want to maybe, I'll just keep it like this for an example, and then I can go through, well, let's put our item, my items in. So if I click it, it's going to go into rows, and 
that's uh, that's how I'll leave this one because I want to be able to quickly analyzing based on the names and again we could change you know the different formats depending on what you pick I want to be able to look at the name and how many items that they sold so if I go to units right here and I'm going to click this one this is goes into my values over here so I can see in a hurry now I can look at a name and I can look at what the item is and see how many of each item that they sold so again if you don't want any of these uh, in here I can drag them out just like this or you can also drop down and there's remove from fields so on the sheet that you have that you've downloaded try putting these in and checking to see just as you play around and you'll see sometimes when you drag them into different spots uh, things aren't gonna look quite right so if all of a sudden if I add a region well this looks fine as over here because now I can break it down even further into region but if you are grabbing them and putting them into the columns uh, maybe it gets a little less it maybe it doesn't uh, you can't read it as well as different ones so you can play it uh, in different ways but take a moment right now and with the data that you have try to manipulate it and try to get different answers or re, uh, try to look for something using uh, the technique I just showed you Okay, so now I want to show you a few more tips. Uh, what I'm going to do is actually grab this region area out and just drag it out. So back to where I had it before and just show you some more things that you can do uh, with your uh, information that you've uh, asked it to provide for you. Now I can go over to these drop downs here and uh, maybe I don't want all the names selected. Uh, if I drop down, you can see the different names of the people. If I take off a few here, maybe I just wanted to quickly be able to look at less people and I hit OK well there you go I'm only comparing the people that I want so you can quickly do these things so check on the drop downs uh, and then you can go through and add them back if you want uh, but it makes a quick way to really analyze your data the other thing is maybe you want to sort things so what I can do if I go over here uh, and right click I get these different options and here you can see that there's sort and maybe I want to go smallest to largest and I've resorted the information on uh, that pivot table to kind of represent it in maybe the way that I want to. So before we move on to some charting, I just want to give you a couple extra tips here to just make your pivot tables more, uh, just more powerful so you can find more information in them. So the first thing is, uh, I'm just going to make a quick change here. I'm going to take away units instead and I'm going to put in total. And now these are my total amounts. You can format these uh, just like you do with your normal spreadsheet. So if I wanted this to be in dollar amounts, I can just click my dollar and you can see how the format is different. Different. Now the next thing I just wanted to show you was down here under values so I'm just under sum of total you can change this too by if I go to value field settings I can take a look at uh, I can change it from here I'm under sum but you can go through and take a look at different ones so if I was going under a average now this won't make much sense for this one but you can see how it does adjust uh, if I was going to something like uh, account so I'll go back to value field settings and I'll go to count and hit OK well now it doesn't make sense that the dollars are there because it's just counting up uh, the different sales of it but if I go back I can just go to general and it will turn it back like so so you can adjust the formatting to it now uh, I want to show you something else here too so I'm going to quickly just make an adjustment I want uh, I'm going to move my reps down into a column and I just want to go total. So now I have quickly, I can see their names to the total right across from them. Um, I could format it just like I showed you before. But what I want to show you now is if I right click on this one and then I go show value as, uh, you can go through and, and just for it to quickly do percentages of, or you can see all the different things. If I wanted to go percent of column total, it quickly gives me, so all of a sudden I know Kathy is 23.31% uh, of the total, and you can get some quick percentages that way. So these are just a couple more tips uh, to look, that, look at. Uh, remember to be looking, uh, right click to find information, and then even under the different ones, take a look at what you can change through field set on it and using the data just try to play around and try to manipulate it as much as you can 
pivot tables allow you to quickly graph your information. Uh, so I'm just gonna be, I have my reps and my total and I'll make some quick graphs of this and show you how quickly you can add more things to it and change of how you want it to look. So I'm gonna go, um, I have my pivot table here. I'm gonna go up to insert. Uh, and I'm gonna go over to pivot chart and click on this. And when I click on it, I get the options. Uh, you can see it defaulted just to the column one. And if I go through it, I can uh, pick uh, different ideas from the 3D one. And it gives me a little uh, preview of what it looks like. You can go through and kind of see what would be the best for you to represent your data where people can quickly look at it and pull that information out uh, at a glance from it. Uh, I'm just gonna go with the bar graph on this this one and I'm going to just hit OK and from here uh, you can still add your uh, more pivot field so if I wanted to look at units also you can see it quickly added them I have my values on the side so you could go through test out what gives uh, the information you want to uh, give to your audience or whoever's uh, looking at it so I'm going to just turn off this one I'm going to leave this pretty simple the other thing I want to show you is how to manipulate the way you want your graph to look. Uh, well, you could click in any of these and you could write to whatever you want on it. But if I go ahead and I'm going to just right click on this one uh, and you get all these uh, different information, all this, all the things you can do. But what I want to open up is format the uh, chart area and I get this uh, to come up here. Now uh, I'm under that you can see as I click on different ones, I can go through um, for, for instance, we'll look at uh, these right here. If I click on those and now this open up here well maybe I want them to be thicker and so I just put the gap width to less and now the lines are thicker I think that makes it a little easier to read like that um, on it uh, I can go through all the different things that you can see uh, from here at the different options if I click on something I'm gonna have different options to um, add uh, looks to it so right now I added a little bit of a shadow around it uh, this you can go through and uh, look at the borders of it if I drop down uh, I can go through if I wanted the plot area different I can click on the plot area and now I can go through and change things and adjust things you can really just quickly get things looking the way you want to to, to make these graphs look quite prof uh, professional and all the information um, that you want to show so I hope you found this pivot table tutorial useful and that maybe you'll look at uh, really taking advantage of this powerful part of Excel here. Uh, let me know in the comments if there's other things about pivot tables you want to learn. I just kind of touched the surface of this, of this and let me know if there's other Excel uh, tutorials that you're interested in learning that I could create for you to kind of help uh, you understand it more. But anyways, thanks for watching this week on Teachers Tech. I'll see you next week with some more tips and tutorials.